Right. And then off again. For those of us uh, using keyboard and joystick, or keyboard, keyboard and mouse, um, I strongly suggest uh, it's essentially the same principle. Uh, what I will actually often do is, as I am coming on approach, I will angle my nose up a little bit to help burn off speed, and then feather my S key or down key to start bringing the bird in uh, and burning off altitude while the uh, angle of the bird is increasing my speed, and just controlling your attack to control your speed while you're feathering down on my smooth flight path. Uh, if you're on keyboard and mouse, it's literally tapping S. Um, all right, all right, all right. When I say feathering, I just mean on off, on off, on off, on got off. It, got it. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, obviously, you know, early on, if you need to, you can depress it harder. Um, the other thing that'll let you do is, as you flare up, if you're doing that, it'll help you prevent help prevent you from gaining altitude uh, and keep you on a smooth glide path down while burning off speed. If you have to do a hard break. Uh, you can hold down S uh, or whatever your uh, decreased throttle is, pitch your nose up, and just watch your numbers to make sure that you're not climbing, but it'll allow you to control the bird into a very uh, smooth and controlled stop. All right, um, terrain flight. Uh, one of the things that you have to practice a lot is what's called uh, NOE uh, flight rules. Uh, or nap of the earth. This means that you're traveling uh, effectively as close to the ground as you can. Uh, the general rule is under 30 AGL. Uh, this per gives you cover uh, as you pass by enemy units or installations. They don't have reaction time on you. Um, and as you you're uh, below the horizon of most radar so that uh, units cannot get a lock on you. If you're traveling at a decent good speed at Nap of the Earth, odds are even if you do fly right by a uh, anti-air installation or a you know group of guys with big guns, that the time it takes them to react to you and shoot at you, you will be out of their view before they can actually do anything. Um, and the other two things on this are braking turns, which we ended up covering earlier. Uh, don't do them unless it's an emergency or you have to. And waving off, don't be afraid to do it. It's much better to uh, have a controlled approach than to try and correct a bad one. All right, so we're going to do a little flight here. We're all going to take off together. Uh, we're going to travel to a holding point where we are going to stop and hover together. And then we will return here and land together. If you open your map uh, and reference hold point Victor, which is down at the end of the runway, we're going to begin by taking off. We're going to travel to hold point Victor. We're going to stop and hover until we have everybody in formation, ready to go. Uh, from there, we're going to travel north to hold point Plush, which is behind Misty Peak. Um, we are going to mask there. Masking meaning we are going to hide behind the mountain to prevent uh, protect ourselves from potential enemy fire or observation. Uh, masking is something that you'll want to practice and learn. Uh, it is an extremely useful tool in a helicopter for just about any circumstance. Uh, it gives you protection, allows you to pop up, observe something, fire off your rockets, whatever you need to do, and then return to mask. Uh, it's the equivalent of hiding behind a wall as an infantry person. Uh, just a real quick on formation flight. Um, a lot of people do this differently. I don't know the proper military approach to this, but uh, I find that one of the best rules is when you are trailing somebody in a formation, do not fly directly behind them. Um, always offset yourself to the right or left. Um, if you're in a large group, try and establish these positions in the formation. Uh, but you don't want to be directly behind somebody in case they have to make a sudden break or maneuver. And you, this gives you uh, reaction time not to run into them. Also, there's no need to fly in extremely tight formation, uh, as again, you want reaction time, just like traveling on the highway. Yeah, Rich, I mean, essentially, you just, uh, it's okay to stagger, you can stagger back, but uh, you just don't want to have the person next in front of you or behind you to be on the same path that you are.
Uh, all right. So if there's and no questions, let's uh, mount into birds. You can change the view distance, by the way. Yeah. Quick note. Yeah. yeah if you go to these settings, you can change the view distance and grass settings. Correct. Uh, yeah, I enabled that on this map, so open your ace settings and you can adjust those. And when everyone's okay. ready, you just mount into the same birds you were in before. Mongo, uh, we'll wait for your group to clear, then Death Strikes group, group then my group. Yep, sounds good. Alright, Eagle One lifting off. General rule of thumb for the moment, keep it nice and slow, watch the aircraft in front of you, keep a safe distance. My group lifting off. Raven flight lift, impulse after me, Andre after impulse. Eagle maintain a hover, I'm just going to spin around so that I can see how everyone's doing. Eagle flight, go ahead and pull it forward some uh, towards the HP. Whoa, whoa, Holly, whoa. Raven flight nice and easy. Let's make sure we don't run into the backs of these guys. Raven bleed speed. Well, Holly, I suggest you get your sensitivity. Looks like you're having input problems. My group stay where you are. I'm peeling off. Mongo, give us a minute. I just have a slight problem. Yep, no problem. Raven's holding behind Sprout. Well, 
Well, you might be a bit better if he's moving nice and slow. Raven, I'm moving behind you to observe. It will hardly nice and smooth, just like that. Ascent rate um, that tells you how quickly you are moving up or down. Altitude above sea level that's a number set below the map. Oh, that is something to take note of. Your altitude indicator is an altitude ground following indicator, so it will give you your exact height above ground. Your ASL is a non ground following reading. So it is your general altitude ignoring terrain. How you doing, Mega uh, District? Uh, one moment. Uh, yeah, I have all my flight. I guess we're going to move out now. Eagle proceeding on target. Let me give you a nice big gap. Okay, my flight. Andre, go ahead and follow. Sparrow flight, impulse follow when uh, you're ready. My airspeed is 200 kph indicated. Oh, that's another thing, girl. You're breaking it. Airspeed are in kilometers per hour, not knots, not mph. My flight begin to decrease their speed. And everyone keep in mind it's kind of tight back here. We're going to push a little past the HP to get the other flights room to get in. Watch the trees, be aware of your surroundings and the other birds in the air. Yeah, it's where you've got to play with it more and get the feeling of knowing what position your throttle gives you in terms of power. Watch the trees in your rear, Rich. 
my flight looking good. Remember, we're coming to a hover here, so you want to slow down. Leaving it a bit late there, Rambo. Andrea starts slowing down. Oh, someone just shot over our heads. That might have been Andrea. He got out of my view distance. Yeah, he's... Alright, that's fine as long as you didn't take anyone down. Make a slow loop and come back and just slow it down. Tequila, go ahead and get out of those trees if you can. Gain a little bit of altitude. Yeah, this is the point where you really want to be aware of your spacing. If you have a view hat, you'll be wanting to look around constantly. Remember, the trick here is to hide, not to be as close as possible to the ground or the trees. So, make sure that you're safe where you're hovering. They're all flights in. All except uh, Impulse, I think he's still on the uh, phone. Yeah, it's fine. That man knows how to load up the uh, simulator. <laughs> the missions. Yeah. Uh, let me just verify where Andre is and then we'll uh, get on with it. I think he's coming back to you from my direction. Right, just make sure you approach nice and slow and slot back into your formation. Remember, you want to also keep yourselves facing forwards along with the rest of the flights. Just ignore those instructors zipping around in the MH6s. We want to see what you guys are doing. Alright, you go hold here a second. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Everyone's doing a great job out here. Uh, Really good job with the hovers uh, sitting up in your masking. So let's reverse order here. Um, we're going to have the rear flight. Everyone's going to 180. Rear flight is going to lead us out. And we're going to return to the airfield. On the airfield, you will notice that there is a red and green uh, smoke popped in the open field in the middle. Our goal is going to be to touch everyone down within that area. So follow your flight leads, glide paths in, and uh, try and keep it nice and smooth. Touch down with a little bit of rim around you. Uh, just imagine that we're dropping off, you know, 150 troops in one flight. Roger that. All right, Raven, orient towards the uh, air uh, field. Follow me. Yeah, 